It took two years for a local woman experiencing headaches and an array of other symptoms to receive the right diagnosis. She has Chiari malformation, and through education and annual walk, she's hoping no one else lives suffering like she did. I was having headaches and migraines all the time. She lived the life any other woman at 32 did, a wife and mother with a full-time job, and she was also in school, but her health just wasn't right. I was passing out periodically. My legs and arms was going numb, fingers, toes tingling. I was just dropping stuff, basically couldn't do anything. I was so fatigued. One day I would be fine, the next day I couldn't hardly walk. She thought she was stressed but ended up in the hospital, a setting she also works in, and got the devastating news. They done a CT scan and found out that I had Chiari malformation. Heath says she had decompression surgery, where, like some patients, the brain and spinal cord are in the wrong place. Dr. Ian Heger tells us he sees a lot of kids who deal with Chiari malformation and performs about 30 surgeries a year at the Children's Hospital of Georgia. Your brain's supposed to be in your skull and your spinal cord's supposed to be in your spine. With a Chiari malformation, the lower part of the brain, the cerebellum, in particular the cerebellar tonsils, are sticking through the hole at the bottom of the skull and enter the spinal canal. Dr. Heger says surgery isn't always the solution. Augusta University responds to Chiari in multiple ways, such as medicine too. We've also included physical therapists and occupational therapists. Uh, in the mix, um, as well as uh, pain management specialists. Chiari, when treated, is not life-threatening, but living with it can be very daunting. So Heath brought an Atlanta area walk to the Garden City to help those like her. Because I found, I don't know how many people that live here, if they don't have it, their kids have it, they're scared, they don't know what to do. Heath says for two years she was misdiagnosed. Doctors told her she was dehydrated, stressed, and needed to go exercise. She wants to make sure others are aware of Chiari, and you can learn more about it this weekend. The Conquer Chiari Walk Across America takes place Saturday at Evans Town Center Park in Evans. Registration is at 8 in the morning, and the walk starts at 9.30. Find out how to sign up on our website, wjbf.com, later on, and click on this story.